Being in here in Buzzy Loader Camp, uh, I'm here at Muscatatuck Wildlife Refuge again. Out here by Seymour, Indiana. And there's, there's this trail here I'm hiking. I don't really know the name of the trail. I just was driving and I seen it and I thought I'd hike it. I don't know if it's actually a trail or if it's just one to get you around the lake here. Hike it and get done hiking. I'll see if I can find the name of it or if it's just like a trail you just go around the lake over here. That's right there. Cloudy day, but it's not raining or anything. And like 52 degrees, so well, did a fishing video yesterday, so I thought I'd do a hiking video today. well-maintained trail, so that's why I'm thinking it's not a, a game trail. It's kind of clear. I don't know if it's a little trail that goes around the whole lake or something like that, or Squirrel dug into the ground for not acorns. Are... That's because there's beech trees right here. There's a beech tree right there. Small one. This is a trail and on. Seems like it might be some that people who used to get to a portion of the lake or something.
Larry, it ain't a very big one, but it is a root ball for you. So my brother Larry from EZ Camping. That's the letter E, the letter Z Camping. Probably just a little trail that they use to get back here to go fishing or something. Thought it might be a hook, you know, pretty, not like a trail. Well, we'll get back. I looked through my car, I thought I had a map, so I didn't grab one. And I didn't see anything here, so... Uh -huh. Man, we're just... On our way back out here. I kind of hope it was a trail that went around the lake. And Just a well used game trail, I guess. If you hear that or not, there's a bunch of birds. I don't know what kind they were. I don't know if you heard them. because it had that pole off on the other side of the road. You can see there's the blue cobalt. So that's where we started. So uh, I'll get to a map and I'll see if this was an actual trail or if it's on a map or anything. So I'll get back with you a little bit later. Okay. Found this map. It shows a parking area right there, but it don't show a trail or nothing. So. But we're here at the Sand Hill Pond. And I'm going to hike down to them, see what they look like. Got 
like that. Pavement walk here. The plants are here. Oh, yeah. I think a sand hill pond north and a sand hill pond south. I don't want to see no signs or anything. See which one it is. Come around up through here, it looks like. Looks like this one. Uh, and I would say this one's probably Sand Hill Pond South, and right over there, Sand Hill Pond North. Yeah. Continue to walk around this, it looks like they might be able to walk around this pond up here a little bit of ways and then something else they can turn around and come back to here. And then we'll go around Sand Hill North. And it just looks like this might go up here and end abruptly. Yeah, that's what it does. It ends right there. Yeah. I don't know if this it looks like this is just yeah, there ain't no show there either. Well we'll go back and uh, I'll go off that one little trail down here and explore the other pond a little bit. What kind of fish is hitting the top of the water on this one? When I see that now, one won't hit the top so you can see it. Alrighty, well, down here and explore this one a little bit. Big old mud puddle right there, but we can get around it.
few sycamore tree right there. Well, actually, I think it's just two. It looks like that one splits off. Yep. Looks like it's together right there at the bottom. Now this is North Sand Hill Park Pond. Just brought my fishing pole down with me. Of course, the people that know me know I've always got several rods in here, my car. Honda. Getting the top of the water. <laughs> Take the phone up. You feel the water and all of a sudden there went one. Oh, there's several right there. You can see there's fish in there. This is like just a white fish. But if there's bait fish, that means there's fishes in there too. Most likely. Kind of look like a carp tail. See, come up out of the water. I know they hug the shoreline. There looks like it splits, it goes over to the, and there's the dam to the south sand hill pond. And I imagine this is the trail that we've seen coming in. So 
And we'll take that back out to the cobalt. Take this back out to the cobalt. Here comes the pavement part here. Back on the pavement part. I'm going to call that the video. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for... Well, I already thank you for watching, but I hope you catch the next one. And ta-ta for now.